deep philosophy, philosophy from our inner depth. Hello, Lena. Hello. We have just finished a session of Deep Philosophy where we contemplated on a text, on a short text by Bergson, Henri Bergson, who was a French philosopher, very influential at the beginning of the 20th century. And the text was about his idea of intuition. Intuition, intuition is our capacity, the human capacity, to understand the flow of life in its wholeness, not to analyze and describe, but to understand the flow of life. Um, it's like a symphony of life. Lena, was there anything in this text that uh, you found especially interesting or intriguing or inspiring? If you are pick out just one flower out of our, I don't know, um, a beautiful scenery. You don't see the scenery, you just have the flower in your hand. It is beautiful for itself, but it's not the scenery. In life, in our experiences, the whole comes first. It's the most important yes. thing. Yeah. Is there a specific sentence in the text that touched you and you want to share with us? It's a sentence uh, in his book, Creative Evolution. The sentence goes like this. What escapes the eye is the intention of life, the simple movement that runs through the lines that connects them together and gives them meaning. So what escapes the eye, I'm repeating, is the intention of life, the, the energy, the movement of life. Right? So what is it about this sentence that touched you? I think there are several points, but let me say one. It goes, what escapes the eye is the intention of life, the simple movement. It sounds like a paradox, but when you really look at it with your inner eye, not with your visual eyes, then it makes totally sense. And indeed, it is simple when you go with your intuition in it. You just go with the flow, kind of, as we say, then it's simple. You find a connection, a personal connection between what happens in your life and the ideas of Bergson. When I look at single events in my life, like fragments, and judge them and evaluate them and give them values and meanings, that means also it is possible that I don't like one event, but does it mean that I don't like my whole life? It's a question of identification in a way, to put the fragment as a whole, to make it too big. And this text showed me, no, don't do that. <laughs> so it is my way of thinking, my perception that gives, I don't know, to, to see the fragment as it is, because I have put it out of the unity of the whole. It was my decision. And it's, it can be also my decision to put it back into the whole and to see the whole again. So it sounds to me that in your life, you find times where you're stuck in, in the part. And yet sometimes you get the, you remember, you remember to look at the poem in general and not a particular word in the poem. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Does this happen often to you? This <laughs> movement question. back and forth? <laughs> uh, not anymore, I would say. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to read Bergson's text in this way. I would not be able to really understand because mm -hmm. I, I could already pass some moments and now I can totally resonate with the text. And I, I assume I, I have I have the feeling that I um, caught the, the idea and the intention of the text, let's say. Yeah. Wonderful. It sounds that uh, you are suggesting that to really understand Bergson's text, you have to have a life experience behind you. you have it's, to... beneficial. <laughs> it's beneficial. It's <laughs> beneficial. Thank you very much, Lena, for sharing you, your thoughts. Thank you, Ronnie.